My colleague Samgele Masego is standing by with more of the reaction and this time speaking to the ANC's Nomvula Mukonyana. Samgele? Yes, indeed, Bongiwe, the ANC has been in jubilation after the outcome of the International Court of Justice and those provisional measures that have been put on the state of Israel to restore humanitarian aid such as water, abolition facilities and also food in the Gaza Strip. But I'm going to bring in the ANC's head of international relations and also the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, Mrs. Nomvula Mukonyane, head of international relations. Just the essence of this case as the African National Congress, what uh, messages have you received from the international community and from your fraternal organizations and other nations at large whom are sympathetic to the cause and in jubilation of this judgment that has come out of the International Court of Justice? Thank you very much, Sam Kelo. Already from the NC we've received messages from the United Kingdom where the anti-apartheid movement has actually said we are hoisting the ANC flag. We received a message from Chris that then says, thank you, South Africa. Remember, Chris is part of the EU. We've also received the message from the Palestinian Authority itself that says Mandela must be smiling in his grave. Thank you very much, ANC. Thanks, the people of South Africa. We've received a message from the Palestine-South Africa Solidarity Movement. The people that have also been part of us, black and white, young and old, religious and non-religious, who are actually saying, convey our message to the comrade President Cyril Ramaphosa and thank him on behalf of the entire solidarity movement for Palestine. But for our own members of the ANC and branches of the ANC, everybody now appreciates what is enshrined in the Freedom Charter about peace and friendship. This is all about that. When you look at uh, the judgment in, in itself and the ruling, it just fell short of saying there must be a ceasefire in the conflict between Ga in Palestine and Israel. Are you disappointed that it did not get to that far or the pr provisions that have been put there to avoid genocide, to put in a report after the end of the month on how far you've gone with humanitarian aid and also the genocide issue, pulling back on that issue. Are you, are you happy actually, about that judgment? Actually, the, uh, all the conditions that have been put and matters referred to the Israeli apartheid government, in summary says, ceasefire. Because how do you then make sure that there's no further atrocity against innocent women and children? How do you then talk about uh, uh, humanitarian aid and so forth. How do you then talk about uh, ordinary civilians being not casualties but the main target? Because what the court also did, it referred to the statements that were uttered by representatives of the Israeli uh, authority. One minister saying, we are instructing the Palestinian civilians to move away, failing which they will be deprived of water, they will be deprived of the right to life. And we think what has been very important about this uh, 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 judgment is the tabulation of the details as enshrined in our submission, which in summary says, cease fire now. Lastly, the judgment also calls on different bodies because it also makes a reference to the United Nations statements the Human Rights Commission, the Secretary General, the Under Secretary. So it actually says we all now have a responsibility to respect what the ruling actually dictates. Where does this leave the ANC and its relationship with the Jewish Board of Deputies? It actually brings us closer to say we were correct, that there is no other solution except all of us coming together and talk about peace and coexistence. Because the ANC has been consistent on that. Unlike a situation where there's biasness towards one. Even the ANC statement talks about peace in Israel, peace in, in Palestine, and the release of those that have been kidnapped and those that have been detained. In fact, we'll be meeting the Jewish Board of Deputies, we'll be communicating with them, 
because everybody has to play a role to help Israel to realize that it can be against a cause for a just humanitarian cause. When will that meeting be with the Jewish Board of Deputies? Remember, we are here until Tuesday. We are facilitating those contacts. We remain in contact. But also, we are very much in close contact with the Jews for Palestine and those that say, not in my name. So we we, we, we talking to everybody. We relating to everybody. And as we have done previously, everybody that we have spoken to, we have interacted with, we will do. And I can promise you, before we go to KwaZulu Natal for the manifesto launch, we would have met with the Jewish Board of Deputies because our doors have always been open. We will also be meeting with the uh, a Palestinian uh, solidarity movement. We would also be meeting with the Christian community so that then they must also believe and, and um, embrace that a holy Jerusalem is a Jerusalem of a peaceful Palestine. A holy Jerusalem is a Jerusalem of everybody appreciating that it is not about Zionism or any other thing, including Islamic belief. It is about peaceful coexistence because that's historically the history of that holy Jerusalem. And me also being a Christian, I'm quite delighted about this outcome. This is Mokonyane. I've just got a response from the South African, Board of, uh, South African Jewish Board of Deputies, which welcomes the International Criminal Court's judgment's recognition of Israel's right to defend its citizens by denying the ANC government's request for a ceasefire. This court was never asked to determine the merits of the charge of genocide. It was only asked to provide interim measures two of which were granted. Just a response of them responding in this particular I, nature. I think uh, we need to, we will meet with them because I think it's a narrow and very limited response. Um, how do you then make sure that uh, there's no further killing? It means soldiers must stop going in and shooting and bombing a hospital, a children's hospital, a mosque, a, 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 a different households, ordinary civilians. That's a very narrow interpretation of the court outcome but again we need to come back to the table they have to live with us and to live with what the south african government has been able to push and they must not be a body that seeks to isolate themselves from the popular view last question in 30 seconds i ask this question respectfully the president many have perceived him as a person who is quote unquote leaning towards capital leaning towards Western forces. But this time around, he's taken a very bold and different stance, which seeks to challenge the powers that be internationally. When you are speaking in France, when you are speaking on international monetary issues, Ukraine, Russia, Ukraine, Russia now Palestine, uh, Israel. Is he coming of age and growing into a role that seeks to stand on the prim founding principles of the African National Congress. He, he is affirming the fact that he is the president of the African National Congress. And his acts as the president of the country shows that he, he generates his views and thinking based on the collective wisdom of those that belong to the African National Congress and other progressive forces. He's been too good to be the face of South Africa. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nomvula Mukonyane, the ANC's Head of International Relations and Deputy Secretary General Bongiwe. All right, that's uh, Samgele Masego there.